I'm going to say something today that may be a little alarming, confusing, might even make you a little mad. I've had people speak things into my life before, and those were my responses sometimes. But in time, as I pondered them, I received them as truth, and they were good for me. So what I want to say to you today is, pass on your failures. Doesn't sound too fun, does it? It means we have to admit, we have to be transparent, and that's hard, but it's good. Now, I'm not saying that you tell everybody everything. That's not what I mean. If the Lord prompts you to share with someone an area where you have failed, and then the Lord has given you His mercy and grace, and brought you redemption, brought you forgiveness, and that can help someone else, share that. Now, I want to take a look at Peter, because Peter had failures, and we can learn from them, and we can be blessed by them. So in Luke chapter 22, verses 31 to 32, I'm going to read to you about how the Lord warned him, how the Lord prayed for him, and how the Lord instructed him. So it begins with, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, which was his birth name, Indeed, Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. Now wasn't that good of the Lord? He let Peter know ahead of time. He warned him so that he wouldn't be surprised, so that he could prepare. And the Lord does that for us. He's good to us like that. But then the Lord wanted Peter to know, hey, I've prayed for you. It says, but I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. Isn't that awesome? When I was going through my depression, I know that Jesus was sitting at the right hand of the Father praying for me. The Word tells us He does that. He intercedes for us to the Father. So I was never left alone. I was never on my own. And neither was Peter, and neither are you. Because the Lord does not want our faith to fail. But yet, the Lord also gave Peter instruction, and He said, And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Well, what does that mean, when you have returned to me? Well, it means that Peter did fail, and we know that. We know how he denied the Lord three times, but the Lord brought him back. The Lord forgave him and accepted him, but he gave him an instruction, and he said, strengthen your brothers, and that's what we can do if we pass on our failures. If we can be open and say, hey, this is what I did. This is how I messed up, but the Lord has given me this grace and this mercy and he's brought me through it. And it gives God glory, and it gives others hope. So I think it's a good word. Pass on your failures. I am Candy Rice. My ministry is Living Hope, and you can find it at candyrice.org. You can buy my book there, He Enriched My Life by the Death I Suffered. And you can also contact me if you'd like me to come speak at your event or your church, or even do a book signing, whatever uh, you think would be good. Contact me and uh, we can talk about it, and that would be exciting. So, be encouraged today, be blessed, keep following the Lord, and remember, if He's calling you to, pass on your failures.